welcome back children today we will start part 2 of lesson 3 working with windows 7 so in this video you are going going to learn about the files and folders how to create a file and a folder renaming a file folder and a shortcut icon so let us begin now first you need to understand what is a file and a folder so file is a collection of related information that is stored together on some storage device okay so it may be a cd it may be dvd it may be pen drive or it may be the hard disk in your computer now in order to create a file you need to work on the application okay then you need to save the file by giving the file name okay so that it will be easier for us to find the desired file now second folder now what is a folder folder is just like a file cabinet or we can also consider it as a briefcase that is used to store and arrange the relevant files not only the files but the folders as well now consider that your parents has a briefcase at home okay for their office use or for their business users now you can see if you open the briefcase you will see different sections there so generally what your parents keep there in different sections they may keep the file they may keep the documents they, they may keep their other cards okay so there are different sections to store different files similarly even in the computer we can create a folder so that we can store and arrange our file not only file the folders as well okay so let us begin now this is my desktop screen okay now, if you look at the desktop you can see the files you can see the folders and you can see different kind of application as well okay suppose say this is my microsoft word document file this is my microsoft excel document file okay these are my pdf file i do have a folders as well okay beside these folders i do have some of the application as well now first i let let me start with say creating a file okay now how to create a file in order to create a file you need to work on certain application suppose let me work on microsoft word document okay go to the start button click on microsoft office word 2007 you can see the microsoft office word 2007 windows has appeared or you may use microsoft office 2010 2013 whatever you may have okay now let me type a small text here suppose say we are from class okay now <clears throat> first you in order to create a file you need to save it so go to the office button here click on the office button okay from the shortcut menu you can see the save or save as option either you can click on the save button or you can click on save as button okay so now you need to give a file name okay you need to give a name to the file that i have created recently so let me give one name suppose the name may be say techno india okay so let the name of this file be techno india click on save button now what i will do is now i will close this window let me close this window and let me see whether the file with techno india has created or not yes you can see here so i have created one file with a file name techno india okay now if you want to see the file what you need to do is you have to simply double click the file okay once you double click the file what will happen your file will get open okay now you can see that whatever you have written it had got open so let me show you one second see you just need to take the mouse pointer to the file it may be the folder it may be the file it may be the application okay that you want to open so once you take the mouse pointer to the desired file or folder simply double click the mouse button now once you double click the mouse button what will happen your file or folder will appear okay now let me show you how to create a folder now in the empty area in a desktop what you have to do is you have to right click the mouse button okay so simply right click the mouse button so we call this as a drop down menu from this menu take the mouse pointer to the new option here now once you take the mouse pointer to the new option you can see another 
sub menu will appear from this sub menu click on the folder option so let me click on this folder option now you can see that a new folder has been created now what you have to do is you have to give a name okay the desired name for this folder so let me give one name to this folder as suppose say t-i-g-p-s okay and after give, rename, giving the folder name you need to press the enter key so press the enter key from the keyboard now you can see the folder has been created with the name TIGPS. Now similarly, if you want to open the folder as well, take the mouse pointer in the folder, okay, simply double click on the folder. So click the mouse button two times, you can see that the folder has been created, but right now your folder is empty, nothing is there inside the folder, okay. So you can also store the files, you can also store the folders and arrange it in a folder okay now let me simply close it now again i am going to show you how to create a folder one second simply right click the mouse button in anywhere in the empty area now from this drop down menu take the mouse pointer on the new option you will see another sub main sub option will at menu will appear from this sub menu click on the folder option so if the folder is appear give one file name for the folder so let me write down as class 4 okay so after like giving the file name press enter key you can see a new folder has been created with the name class 4 okay now <clears throat> how to store the file inside the folder just you need to do is take the pointer okay at the file that you want to store inside the folder press the mouse button take it to the folder that you want to put it release the mouse button so just drag it take it inside just drag it take it inside okay now just see whether the files and folders has been stored inside this folder so i'll take the mouse pointer i'll double click on it you can see then three files has been placed or has been stored inside the folder class okay so in this way we can store the file or a folder now next is renaming of file and folder means you can also rename the file or a folder from your computer okay suppose say i want to rename this file so if you want to rename this file means changing the name of the file right now it is techno in there so if you want to rename the file take the mouse pointer to any of the files that you want to rename right click the mouse button okay you will see the drop down menu from this drop down menu go and click on the rename options here at the below click on the rename option now you can give the new name suppose say let me give the new name as T I G P S category okay so after renaming the file press enter key you can see that techno india has been replaced with the file name T I G P S category okay now think i i just want to rename this uh, say folder as well okay so how to rename the folder you can rename the folder in the same way that you have renamed the file so take the mouse pointer on the folder right click the mouse pointer okay from the drop down menu go and click on the rename option here now give or change the name that you want to place so let me write the new name as, uh, as say chapter three okay so after giving the file name press enter key you can see that the the name of this folder has been changed into a chapter 3 okay so in this way you can we can create the files and folders okay we can also rename the files and folders now the next one is say <coughs> opening file and folder so how to open the file and folder simply see here just like the one that you you have opened the file take the mouse pointer okay on the folder simply double click the mouse pointer here on the folder once you double click the pointer you can see your folder will get open okay now you can view your view the content that are stored inside the folder now finally the last one is a shortcut so what is a shortcut shortcut is an icon okay that provide us the easiest and the quickest way to open any application or a software that we use frequently 
suppose thing that uh, you frequently draw in the Microsoft Paint. Okay, so means you are frequently using the Microsoft Paint application. So what you need to do is you have to go to the start button, you have to go to the all program, then you have to find Microsoft Paint. Okay, so what happens is it takes time. So what you can do is the better way is we can create a shortcut shortcut of Microsoft Paint application. Now how to create a shortcut of Paint application? Now you see this is the Microsoft of Paint application. Okay, just right click the mouse button, and what you can do is pin to taskbar okay we can also pin in the taskbar what will happen once you click on the pin to taskbar you can see in the taskbar i have the application this is the paint application now i don't need to go to the start button i don't need to uh, go to all program anywhere else and search the paint window now what i will do is it will remain in my taskbar i will directly click on the taskbar okay then i will open my paint window see very easy let me close it once again and again, if I need to open the paint window, it's already in the taskbar. What I will do is I'll simply click and I will open it. Okay. So for this purpose, uh, if you want to uh, use, if you generally use some of the application frequently, then you may put it in the taskbar or you may create a shortcut of that application and place it in the desktop. Okay. So in today's video, we have gone through say creating files and folders. Okay opening files and folders, renaming files and folders, and the shortcut icon. So this is all in today's video. Thank you children.